let's see how to recreate these pads. Normally, I start playing some chords, and when I come up with a chord progression that I like, I continue adding more elements. Chords are played in MIDI channel number one, so now let's add the bass line. The bass track in the Oxy One is set to MIDI channel two. So in this case, I want the bass to be played by voice number one in choral. So let's first select voice number one. Push and turn the encoder until voice one is selected. The voice selection is indicated in bluish color. While still pressing the encoder, turn the MIDI knob until it shows the MIDI channel number 2 and release it. Now our the chords are being played from voices 2 to 8 and the bass line will play in voice number 1. So from this point we have two parts. One part in channel number 2 and another part with 7 voices in MIDI channel number 1. If we hold and turn the encoder we can see that we can go from voice selection now all the voices are selected to part selection in a green turquoise color so now we have our bass line with one voice and the chords with the other seven voices so let's tweak the bass sound and for that we need to select the bass part. So this is the bass line, but now it's been played with the same parameters as the chord, so we need to modify the voice settings until it sounds like a bass. First, let's remove the reverb. Let's open up the filter. Reduce the attack. Remove the sustain, change the engine to another one, Now we can add the drums. So for simplicity, we are going to play the kick on the voice number eight, and it's going to be set to MIDI channel number eight. The snare is going to be on the voice number seven with MIDI channel number seven, and the hat is going to be in voice number six with the MIDI channel number six. We have to repeat the same steps. So first hold the encoder, select the voice number 8 and hold the encoder keep holding the encoder and select the MIDI channel number 8 we can do the same by holding the encoder select the voice number 7 turn the MIDI knob voice number 7 voice number 6 and MIDI channel number 6 all right, so let me first disable the other sequencers and I'm going to go to the sequencer 4 where three tracks set to MIDI channel 8, 7 and 6. I can go to the keyboard. The different track triggered the different voices on the different MIDI channels. First of all, let's start with the kick, select the kick, now change the engine of the kick to the kick model, we 
can remove the reverb for the kick. We don't need it. We can adjust the different parameters. Turn all the, fi the filter all the way up. Change the octave. And change the tune. The decay. Okay, let's go for the snare. Let's go for the hat. So press and select the voice number six. Change the engine. Open the filter all the way up. Change the octave. We can remove the river a little bit. Let's play everything together. We can send CC modulation assigning the right CC number and MIDI channel. So in this case the clubs MIDI channel 7 and I have an automation of the river scent that we can enable. So as you can see here, this mod lane controls the river scent of the club only. Now we have to add the last voice for the lead melody. The lead melody is in the is in MIDI channel number three, and I'm going to use the voice number five for that. So hold the encoder, select voice number five, and turn the MIDI knob to voice number three. Let's Deactivate the other sequencers to hear only the lead sound. I'm going to modify the sound of the lead. First, change the engine. a little bit of reverb, chorus, and noise.
Another way to send modulation to the choral is by using the CV input. In this case, I want to modulate the timbre parameter of the lead sound. So for that, I need to get into the CV modulation screen. Tap the encoder three times from load save to CV assign and turn it to select the voice of the lead. Tap the encoder again to confirm. So now if we, if we patch a CV input to the timber, we can hear the modulation going. Without modulation, modulation. We can save this configuration into the SD card by tapping twice turning the encoder to select the slot tapping again to confirm if we want to recall our patch from the SD card we only have to tap the encoder once select the slot that we want to load and tap again to load it and now we can hear how the track sound in the beginning mm -hmm. 